those of us who are lucky enough to call Fylde home know what a fantastic place it is to live. But those people that call Fylde home will no longer have to call Mark Menzies their MP after the next election. Four days after a raft of allegations concerning misuse of party funds and abusing his position, he's announced he's going. In a statement, Mark Menzies said, it has been an enormous privilege representing the people of Files since 2010, but due to the pressures on myself and my elderly mother, I have decided to resign from the Conservative Party and will not stand at the forthcoming general election. I just want to start by saying, Mr Speaker, how disappointed I am that Parliament was not informed about this before the media. Mr Menzies hasn't always been such a stickler for procedure, though, according to allegations in The Times last Thursday. The newspaper reported that Mr Menzies, quote, rang an elderly local party volunteer at 3.15 a.m. in December, saying, I've got in with some bad people and they've got me locked in a flat and they want £5,000 to release me. The paper says, quote, the sum rose to £6,500, was paid by his office manager from her personal bank account and subsequently reimbursed from campaign funds raised from donors. The Times also reported Mr Menzies used £14,000 from campaign funds to pay for his personal expenses. In a statement to the paper, he said, quote, I strongly dispute the allegations put to me. I have fully complied with all the rules for declarations. But tonight, he's announced he's standing down. Eventually. What Mark Menzies does now is, of course, his decision. But the very clear thing to come out of this sorry saga is that the Conservative Party, led by Rishi Sunak, is unable to deal with these kinds of issues. They're not able to get a grip on them. Labour has always tried to make sure that we act with integrity, accountability and professionalism. For our part, I can't comment on our ongoing investigation while it's happening. And uh, he's no longer a Conservative MP. That was the line the party relied on for four days. Today, though, a party spokesperson said they had now concluded their investigation, but the results were not clear-cut. A Conservative Party spokesperson said the money in question that was sent to Mark Menzies was signed off by two signatories of filed Westminster Group. This body sits outside of the remit of both the Conservative Party and filed Conservative Association. Therefore, they said, we cannot conclude that there has been a misuse of Conservative Party funds. Mr Menzies will remain an MP until the next general election, a fraught election we asked the Energy Secretary about before Mr Menzies' announcement. This hasn't been a great week for the Conservative Party. Allegations of sleaze over Mark Menzies. You're still languishing in the polls. Can your government really limp on until the second half of this year when the Prime Minister says he wants to have an election? So we are going to be making the positive case. I think there are a lot of people out there who are still undecided. And the argument that I would put to them is, yes, I mean, there are challenges, but what we want to do is make sure that we're growing the economy, that we're cutting taxes, putting more money back in your pockets. By not standing down immediately, Mr Menzies has saved the Prime Minister from yet another by-election. It may be little consolation for the pain these allegations could cause the party he used to represent.